What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Vigorous Shooter. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to track objects and text to your footage. Now, like always, if this is your first time to the channel, please take the time right now to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Okay, we're going to keep this video short and sweet and straight to the point. First thing we're going to do, we're going to open Fusion. Okay, so let's highlight our clip and hit the Fusion tab so that way it could create a Fusion timeline for us. This is the clip that we're going to use and we're going to track this young lady walking straight across this path. After we track her, then we're going to put objects to that tracker so that way the object or the text could stick to her movement. Now let's create a tracker node. We're going to hold shift plus command and hit the space bar for it to bring up a directory so that way we could start finding whatever we're looking for. And we already have the tracker here. So we wanna make sure we grab the one that says tracker, and then it's going to give us this little tracking mechanism right here. We will see our little boxes that will guide us on how to use this tracker. The first box is what we'll be tracking whatever you want to track. And the second box on the outside with the little line dashes, it's a second line of defense so you don't lose your subject. If you click and drag on the top left corner of the inner box, it will allow you to move the tracker wherever you want it. And keep in mind that wherever you're going to track, make sure there's a strong contrast in that location for you to have better results from the tracker. So in our case right here, I feel like there's a pretty good contrast between her hair and her skin tone. So I'm going to track her head for this because if I were to track, let's just say her clothing, her arms will be swinging. So I don't wanna catch any of that. That might disrupt our tracker. So we're just going to make sure we have it on her face. We're just gonna track her head with it. You will now start to track forward. I suggest using this first one right here where it says track forward from current time. So that way, you know, it'll track it from exactly where the frame is. So let's click that real quick and see what we get. Boom, and it's completed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the object that we want to track to her. Now we're gonna to go to our media pool and we're going to grab our object and we're going to just drag it into the timeline space, whatever you wanna call it. Then we're going to highlight our tracker and we're going to go to the option setting right here on the side right here. And we're going to make the operation turn into a match move. So that way, whatever we put on top of this tracker, it's going to match the information that's in the tracker for you. So now we're going to go ahead and connect it to our foreground of the tracker. And there it is. Now this is a little bit too big. So what we could do here, we could throw a transform right under that. So that way we can uh, bring the size down a bit. We could also use our transform node to move the location of the object right on top of her head. All right, and then we're going to raise it up a little bit. Now, I think we should create a text box and let's just bring our text right in. We're just going to write, I love you right there in there. We're going to create a merge node, connect this to our merge node and then have our merge node connect to the tracker. Let's have our text node connect to the foreground of this. And we're also going to bring the size of the text down a little bit. And we're going to move the position of the text to fit right inside of the heart. So just a recap, we had our main footage right here. And then we created a tracker to track the subject. And then after that, we turned the tracker option into match move. And then from that point on, we were able to bring in our heart, which is up here. We transformed the heart to fit the scene a little bit better. And then we created a merge node and then we merge our text on the foreground of the heart. And then we merge all of that on the foreground of the tracker. So that way all of that can coexist on top of the footage. And now once you go out to your edit tab, you're able to play it back and see how everything runs all so smoothly for you. Now, I hope this was very simple for you guys. And if you found value in this video, 
please hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the steps I took here, please hit me down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you on my next one. Deuces.